It's Friday afternoon, and the judge prepares to preside over a criminal trial about cyber harassment. Is it a fair and accurate representation of the actual image you saw? Yes. But this is no ordinary legal case. This is a mock trial held by the students of Miami Lakes Middle School. Okay, Stephanie is going to act like the judge. Led by teacher okay. Lisa De Yarza, students are conducting exercises in a specially designed courtroom to learn more about the American judicial system. De Yarza has been teaching world history and legal studies at the school for over 15 years and has been overseeing her courtroom for the last seven years. It was a regular classroom and when the teacher retired, I told the existing principal that I would be willing to write any grants that I needed and that I would fundraise, but I, I wanted a courtroom that the uh, students could be proud of. Will the state call their first witness? Among the 23 students participating in her class are Stephanie Rodriguez and Maritza Costa, who have spoken highly of her teaching methods. Ms. Dearza, she helps us a lot because she makes sure that we know what we're doing correct or what we're doing wrong, and she helps us modify it. She's not afraid to tell you when you're wrong, and I really appreciate that about her because I know teachers who will like babysit you, so, oh, you're doing good, you're doing good, when it's completely off. If you're off, she will tell you, so you know to fix it. Diaz has won several awards over the years for her excellence in education, including a national award for her debate team. Principal Maria Medina is very pleased with Diarza and her class and hopes to offer more similar elective programs for students. The competitive teams are very intense and there is a lot of sacrifice. So for a middle schooler who's 13, 14 to achieve that level of excellence is, is extremely admirable. I cannot take the credit. The credit is, is for the kids and for the teacher. For Diarza, however, Winning awards is only secondary to her passion for teaching. I love government, I love civics, I love our constitution, and I want the children to learn the constitution beyond the textbook. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Ryan Grill.